Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Next.js. Today we are going to learn about how to connect MySQL with Next.js. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here we go with that one. So first of all, I have created in the app, we have to create a new folder, which name is database. That is DB config. So here I have created the config right and in config i have created the db.js file so here i have the credentials make sure to install the mysql npm i mysql you need to install then you have to create the connection that is host user password and the database okay then we are checking that the uh, if there is error then it will go in the error connecting the mysql database else it will show that the connected to the mysql database right then export the module okay Second, next step, I have already created the API who is following my videos. They know I have already created the API in the API folder. So here we go with the API products and the routes. Okay. So here I need to just enable this lines of code to check whether the connection is done or not. Okay. So let me uncomment this. Okay. So this is the API. So here I'm just checking. So let me go to the function also. So let me, this is DB config I have imported and this is next response. Okay. Then this is export async function get. So this is get API. Okay. And here the function starts await new promise, resolve or reject, select star from product. So already in the test DB, the, there is a product column. Okay. So if resolve, then uh, we will print the results else the reject. Okay. It will come to the catch block with the error message okay so this is that that one so here we have the connection db so already they have the db connection imported from here let's see the database is connected and we are able to fetch the products or not let's go and check here the adminer also php adminer Let's log in. Uh, not logged in. I think already I have the caps lock on. Okay, so here we have the test DB and here we have the product, right? You can see that and they have the data. Okay, so here we have the query also. Like you can see that. So select start from product. Okay. Save this and go to the terminal and let's have a look on that one. Okay. So when I try to hit the products, you can see that. So the iPhone and Samsung. And here you can see that the connected to the MySQL database. So we have successfully connected to that MySQL database and we have fetched the data successfully. Here you can see that. Okay. ID2 and ID3. Whatever the data belongs to that table it's already fetched that means we have successfully connected to the mysql database so this is how you can connect to the mysql database and do whatever you want with the mysql fetch the product delete the product add the product anything you want to do you can go with that also i think i have already uploaded the crud rest api with the mysql also you can also watch that also okay any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day.